What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And we are kicking off season five with the first player pack reviews. We have got the Arsenal legend pack, as you can see here. So anyone that's new to the game and is looking to get these, you have 150 players in this box, right? So you will get a chance to spin. You can open either a 10 pack of players, which costs 900 coins. You get one free one there compared to opening 10 individual ones, right? So it's 100 coins per pack or else 10 players for 900 coins, right? So these are the three players that are on offer included with the rest of these 147 players, which is a selection of Premier League players that you see here. We're going to be concentrating on the three boys here, right? So we're going to start with Freddy with the with the red hair, right? This guy is a beast on the wings, but he can play left wing or right wing or right mid as well. So he's a bit defensive, a bit more defensive minded with the track back there that you see here and unwavering form. You know what you're going to be getting with players like this especially with one touch pass he doesn't have the most you know dribble friendly kind of player skills i would say he doesn't have heel trick he doesn't have chop turn and he does not have double touch which is a bit of a pity um but you can get him quite quite fast on the pitch especially if you're playing him as a winger which we will see here right so he has got 38 levels to go so we're going to take a quick look at him over on eFootball db which they've now been updated with all the correct players right so he's got 38 levels to go and we just want to kind of, I don't know, we just kind of want to make him into like an, an actual dominant winger, right? Obviously, he can play right mid as well. That was his main position or his register position. But I genuinely think because of um, because of his like his engine and the way that you'll be able to get that up, you can play him either way. I mean, you can have 90 speed, 90 uh, stamina, and you can also have 90 acceleration with 90 defensive awareness and nearly 90 balance which is insane right so if you're using him as a right midfielder we will do specific player guides for that as well but he is a very very decent player lads if you take a look at some of his stats there extremely good player he's got speed stamina everything that you want uh in a in a right midfielder i would personally and i will do a training guide on him i would personally probably take away a little bit of the speed and stamina i mean 85 is more than enough and i would probably pump it up uh, hit, pump up his dribble and a little bit more there as well as having that balance as high as we could possibly go but we will do a training guide on him he is a beast of a player lads I mean as a prolific winger obviously when you look at his stats here as a prolific winger he's going to be picking up a lot of dangerous areas right and because he's down as a right midfielder he's actually going to be higher rated as a right winger it just won't show it on the card so he is a good card to kick us off there's a lot of good wingers in the game at the moment from the 0304 arsenal season you know what you're getting with a player like this and obviously the team play style the unwavering form and of course the player skills if you were able to just get double touch on this guy i don't really like track back sometimes because it means that you know your player is going to like be defending and using up a lot of his stamina which means you do need to boost that stamina to at least 85 um but i do think that he is a bit of a unique player as well and of course if you are an arsenal fan you're going to be interested as well now next up we've got silva now silva is a player that i definitely think could break up that meta of uh you know makalele dabbits uh any of those kind of midfield generals anchorman generals you know like rodri or fabinho or anybody that you're using declan rice any of those guys right firstly he is a legend of a player he is an anchorman he does have b form and he does have unwavering form he also has excellent player skills he's got blocker interception he's also got sliding tackle and fighting spirit and man marking but then he's got one touch pass and low lofted pass with aerial superiority and heading as well so he's kind of like the most i think he's very similar to casemiro very similar to casemiro except he looks even better in my opinion because of the levels that he goes i mean he has 31 levels here he's got everything that you could possibly want as a dmf and he can play central as well so you can train in both ways right so we're going to just do a training guide for him as well but we'll have it up later but for now we are just going to take a look at his base card and get it up as as uh, as high as we can right so defensively i mean you can pretty much max this guy out uh with with 15 into defending to get you know defensive stats that are probably rivaling some of the best defenders in the game the best center backs in the game right now obviously you don't need to go that high if you are uh if you are looking to train him up in a slightly different way but i'm just showing you there that you can get his defensive stats all into the 90s um i will have a little kind of a trick or two to show you in the training guides to how to get the best version of this guy um but again you know what you're getting with him you don't need massive speed you don't need massive acceleration for this type of player if we're used to playing with somebody like patrick vieira or casemiro or somebody that is just very strong on the ball 
you will know what you're getting here. You know, you've got passing in the 80s. You've also got dribbling, which can go to 80 as well if you wanted to do that. And of course, you've got a bit of strength there as well for the physical contact. That's going to be a 94 overall player. But you can see there in the bottom right, even though he can't play center back, his stats actually put him as a 95 overall as a center back. So that would just tell you how defensive he is with the player skills. I think this guy could shake up a few things and he will get into a lot of squads, especially because with the new players that they add, they always seem to perform more consistently. I don't know why that is. Obviously, um, they want to promote, you know, the, the cards that are recent, but the likes of Makalele, Davids, Davids, you know, Rijkaard, any of those players are really, really dominant in the game. I think Anchorman is probably one of the most important play styles in the game. And then last but not least, we have the giant himself, Mertesacker. I mean, Mertesacker was a good player, but I don't think he was, you know, an extraordinary player from having watched him back in the day, uh, you know, in the Premier League or whatever. Obviously, I would have been growing up around that time. Uh, well, he had been a bit, you know, he, he, was at, he was at Arsenal for a good few years, but obviously with, the, with Germany and stuff. Um, I mean, he's a solid player, right? Look, he's a solid player. Um, he looks kind of decent in the game. He looks kind of cool. He's got blocker interception. His height is the biggest thing and his strength. Obviously, physical contact, tackling, defensive engagement, all in the 80s, high 80s at that, straight off the rip. He's got unwavering form, B rating, everything you could possibly want in a center in a center back. As long as you have a mobile, versatile destroyer center half beside him or a build-up or somebody that's able to kind of be good on the ball. Somebody that's able to kind of take the ball out from the fence. Obviously, depending on your play style, you know, and you're not just going to hoof it, right? So when we actually go over to his stats here and we simulate his stats, he's got 27 levels to go. Along with all the player skills that we have here, we know what he's good at. We know he's blocker, he's interception skills, aerial superiority. He's going to have that because he is, you know, an absolute beast in the air uh, because of his height. But we can actually max out this guy very easily with pretty much um, 99 in every stat very easy but that is going to cost us a little bit with the aggression we don't ever want to max out this or any stat with 99 because it doesn't leave any room to go with the form arrows when they are in form and because they are legends they are going to be in form more often than not so you'll get a free stat boost without having to train up that but that opens up the card to kind of have a different type of version than you're used to having for from a center back right i mean physical contact wise and he doesn't need jump or header that much because he is such a giant and such a beast. But I genuinely think that you can actually boost this guy up very kind of uniquely, you know, because obviously you're not going to have acceleration that high. You know, even if you were to max out acceleration with nine points there, you're only going to get it to 65. So I wouldn't even worry too much about that. I would just focus on his actual defense and his stats, like, you know, to get them up as best as you possibly can, especially physical contact, because his balance is going to be super, super low, right? We also have the little trick then as well that we can put, put three into goalkeeper, and that gives us an extra three into jump, to have 80 jump, 93 header, 97 engagement, 95 tackling, 94 awareness, 94 physical contact. Obviously, the speed and acceleration, you're going to need to pair him with a fairly fast mobile center back, especially if you play a bit of possession, and you don't just hoof the ball the minute that you get it. So that is it for the Arsenal pack, lads. I will be doing a training guide on the three of these boys because there's probably only one way to train Mertesacker, uh, Mertesacker but Gilberto Silva is definitely a game-changing type player. And I think Youngberg as well. Youngberg is a very, very good player as well, depending on how you play him. If you want to use him as a crosser, if you want to use him as a winger, there's both different versions. So let me know in the comments below uh, what one you want to see first, and I will be back very, very, very soon. Next up, we will have the Japan Epics with big time Zico, um, or Epic Zico, I should say, who's been in the, the database for a while and finally been released. So that is it for me, lad. Don't forget to subscribe. We will be live streaming for the next few days, so make sure and pop in and say hello, and uh, we'll talk to you in a bit.